go. How's it going? Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Dede. I am a tit smacker. I'm a Todge in a truck. Today I'm a scumbag in a Scania. A 70 plate Scania. Brings back some memories to me for. It's an S cab as well. Is it called S cab or something? I'm in an S anyway. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. S500. Gorgeous. Brings back some memories of when I was at, you know, to the place. Um, it's gorgeous being in here. I'm not going to lie. It has got to be the sexiest cab I've been in. They're absolutely beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. Anyway, um, just for my hating friends and family and passionate people that get really angry at me and tell me that I can't hold a job down, well, I'm at a different place. <laughs> I've gone to a different place for a couple of days just because I just wanted to reiterate the fact that I can go wherever the hell I want. So I'm here at a different place. Happy days. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Don't know what I've got to do tonight. I have absolutely no idea. I am fresh out of the uh, fresh out of the womb <laughs> at this place. I've got a jar of glue. Should be fun. Should be a laugh. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to make some educational content because my vlogs are supposedly a complete and utter waste of space and all I do is crap, chat crap. I'm going to start off with a manual entry on a Stormridge tachograph machine because I've not done one before and I don't think anyone else has done a manual entry on a Stormridge. There's a 21 plate man knocking it out. Ish. 21 plate man i'm so glad i've not got one of them i don't i don't like them not gonna lie anyway we're gonna do a manual entry i'm gonna show you if it do it on a storm ridge just in case you get in a brand new scan you and it's got one of them on i think i believe it's a storm ridge anyway i've just asked on the professional hdv drivers uk forum <laughs> thorn works <laughs> soz yes Pack myself then, not gonna lie. Anyway, let's do this manual entry, let's walk you through it, talk you through it, let's go. All right, skiz. Driver card, face down, last thing you see is your mush. Aye. Push it tin. Welcome, Dede. Hello. Last withdrawal, quarter past three on the 4th of the 11th. Winner, winner, Dick and Chenna. Okay to export personal data. Aye, why not? Crack on. Rest until now. Now, if you don't want to do a manual entry and you really can't be asked, just press yes and it'll crack you on until now. But no, we didn't rest until now because we didn't go home straight away and we didn't start like right now, did we? So no, we didn't rest until now. Do you want to add a manual entry? Yes, we do, please. So, from finishing, we're going to work backwards. From finishing on the 4th of the 11th at 3.15, what did you do? Well, we did some other work because I didn't leave straight away. What time did you do the other work till? Oh, for crying out loud, do I really have to go back from five o'clock? Really? I did the other work until three o'clock. Half past three. That was when I left the yard. Half past three. So we're working, well, we're working forwards now, aren't we? From fourth of the 11th at quarter past three, that's when I got out of the truck. I went home at half past three. That was the end of my shift. Yes. End my shift. And yes. Then we had a break from 4th of the 11th, half past three, until 4th of the 11th at, uh, we'll just put it to five o'clock. That's what time we're coming. We're coming about five to, but we'll put it to five o'clock. So we had a break from 4th of the 11th. That's my nightly break kind of thing. From that, my arm's killing me. So five o'clock. At five o'clock, we begun the shift. Yes, we've begun in the United Kingdom, unfortunately. Yes. From five o'clock, I went in the office, got my paperwork and all that stuff. Still on the 4th of the 11th, and the time is now 13 minutes past five. Done. Entries print out. Nope, we don't want to print out. Confirm entries. Everything's fine. Everything's good to go. Boom. Ready to drive. Happy days. And that, friends, is how easy it is to do a manual entry. They're not difficult at all. They can be a little bit confusing until you've done one. When you've done one, you know how it's done. It really is as simple as that. It's a piece of cake. So I'm going to do my walk around checks now, which are well easy on this because it's got that little key fob that flashes up everything, blinds you, literally cucks your face when it does the middle one. And then 
I've got to go and find my trailer, which is number 20, a double decker that I'm looking for. And then some guy's walking up to me with a mask on and a hat and a high vis coat. Don't know what he wants. I don't know what he wants. He's sticking his thumb up at me. All right. Hi, how are you? Very good. I'm making videos. Yeah, I'm doing a manual entry video. Oh, okay. But show drivers how to do a manual entry. All right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. That's good. That's Thanks. Good. Cheers, buddy. People can know something. Fucking lazy. All right. Yeah. So, Fucking crazy. Uh, anyway, have a nice evening. You too, buddy. Take it easy. Bye. See you later, mate. <laughs> Well, he were nice enough. That was mad. Um, I forgot what I was saying, though. I do apologise. I have no idea what I was saying then. Uh, but yeah, we've got to go and get a double-decker trailer. And then we've got to go down to Birmingham. Don't know where I'm going. Not got a clue. Once I've done my checks and hooked up to the trailer, found it. I've got to go back into the office and get my paperwork and they'll tell me where I'm taking it. I think I've got to go down to Birmingham, tip, reload, and come back. Absolute doddle. Can't, can't complain at that. What? Probably not even going to be a six hour shift if I'm lucky, but we'll see. That's for manual entry. I'm not going to do any time lapses in this because it's all motorway work, obviously, as trunking is, and you don't want to see a pitch black motorway. Um, I think from now it's probably all going to be camera on the shut up. It's probably going to be camera on the head footage because it's going to be pitch black, but we'll see. We'll get into it. Um, hopefully, it won't be as long a vlog as they usually have this one, might be a little bit shorter, but I'll join you in a bit. And we'll have a chat. We'll see where we're going. Gorgeous S500. Can't wait to get this on road. Legend. Brilliant. Take it easy. Speak to you. Well, in a second. Ciao. Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're uh, we're lost. Trying to find somewhere to pull over. Completely lost. I, uh, I did my Google map kind of thing found out where I needed to go when I got here the road was completely different to what it looked like on Google Maps so we're completely lost what are you doing bro I didn't need to indicate because I was going straight across plant pot Oosh. Um, it's all red route so I can't stop anywhere it's not good in the hood we're only a mile away but I've been lost for like 15 minutes now because I've not been able to turn around anywhere because there's been cars on the inside and oh, oh, I've just been panicking and stuff I don't know, don't know what's going on but we're back, we're here, we're live and we're near Birmingham Airport mooching around near Birmingham Airport now it said on the sat nav on my Google Maps that Covid get vaccinated went offered to you shut up, who are you telling what fault do? <laughs> don't think so are you double jab DD? yeah I am well shut up then you idiot, ok, sorry Think of having that booster, think again. If it's not worked twice, it ain't better work a third time, is it? Let's be honest. Anyway, we're not we're not talking about that. We're not talking about deadly viruses that you don't know you've got. No, definitely not. On Google Maps, it said to me that Bickenall Lane was only small and it was at the top of that road, of that lane. So I've followed Bickenall Lane thinking that it was only a small road and it's actually not, it's actually quite humongous and there's knee wheel, pull over stop telling me that, I'm already vaccinated sure up chep, chep pallets whoop, whoop. so, yes, we are, we're trunking we're on pallet stuff and, well, it's an absolute doddle the only thing I've got to do is pull some uh, internals down and strap it up when I've been unloaded here I have to phone the office and see if I need to be reloaded. If I don't have to be reloaded, then I'm going back empty, dropping the trailer and going home. How about that for a shift? <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? So, what I'm going to do now is, when I looked on Google Maps, which I've said 45 times now, um, it said that it was right at the top of one road. Schumacher. Really? That looks like a hangar for an aeroplane. Haha! -ha. I see you, pallet line. I see you. So, I ballsed it up completely, and now we're in the right place. Never been here before. Not got a jar of glue what I'm doing. I generally speaking don't like these hubs. 
there is a hell of a lot of trailers here. Uh, and well, let's let's see if I get disrespected, shall we? Why not? This plant has walked 660 six days without lost time. Actually. Best previous record with a thousand and five. Oh, a plane just taking off. You can't see that, can you? Because it's dark. Hello, sir. How are we doing? Um, I'm from AKW. I've no paperwork. Nope, never. Oh, wait a minute. I have got paperwork. I've got... I've got that. Sorry, mate. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I'm sure he told me that I've got to give it security card, not way out. But security card didn't give it me. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, there's a... Oh, what's her name? Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley's on telly over there. Luffily. Luffily jubbly. Please give me some really, really good simple instructions that doesn't involve any more than one or two turns or else I will end up back here okay buddy here's some slack rules for you mate read them later read them later yeah cool well, otherwise mate uh, first place you're going to uh, drive down to the bottom there turn left that place there is called the QC the bottom being all the way down there no no not down there just just, just left here yeah where right okay uh, that place there is called the QC quality control in that building, they're going to scan the pallets in the back of the truck and they're going to scan the barcode in this paper. Are you reloading, mate, or going empty? I don't know yet. They've not told me. They said no. I've got to ring up when I'm empty. Okay, mate. Once you've been scanning, they're going to send you into our warehouse. In our warehouse, you're either going to be uh, reloaded after a short while or be reloaded straight away. Once you've been reloaded, you've got to come back to the QC building again. Give them one of these. They scan the pallets, they scan the barcode, they fill the details and they put a stamp across here. Hand us to one with a stamp on the way out and then off you go, my friend. There's two copies of these, one's for me and one's for you to take with you to your depot. Pop this one in your window for us, that tells them who you are, what time you came in. Uh, apart from that, my friend, there's a one-way clockwise system and keep your hazards on at all times, please. Okie dokie. Right, so I got turn left. Yeah. We're, we're rocking on turn left. That's all about, I've remembered. <laughs> it was not happy. <laughs> Damn. He was nice enough though. Cheers, bro. <sighs> Do you know one thing I don't understand? If anyone could actually fill me in on this. I've said this before. If anyone could please fill me in on this. Why do you have to keep your hazard lights on at all times? I do not understand it. I don't get it. He's not told me what bear to be in. I don't get why you've got to keep your hazard lights on at all times. It doesn't make sense to me at all. I'm afraid to say, it doesn't make sense. Here, this one. It don't make sense to me to keep your hazard lights on all the time. I think you should only put your hazard lights on when you are completing a manoeuvre, personally. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but it's like when we're at Hermes, for example. Um, when you're at Hermes, everyone's got the hazard lights on. Nobody knows when someone's going to start reversing, so you all just follow each other, and then you all just end up piling up. But it, I think, personally, it'd be better. It'd make more sense to me personally personally if you didn't put your hazard lights on until you was ready to perform a maneuver and then once you was ready to perform a perform a maneuver then you put your hazard lights on then you do your maneuver and then you leave your hazard lights on and everyone knows that then you're going to basically the end of your shift or whatever do you know what i mean does that make sense i think it does anyway but anyway i'm going to get out now and uh, undo these curtains i'm not going to show you that you know how to do it you've done it before if you don't let me know and i'll show you but i don't want to show you what's on the back of this trailer because i've been told off from previous companies for showing what's on the back so i'm not going to show you and i'll join you later on i think or i might take you through here and show you what actually goes on in here because this is new to me this i'm not going to try to glue what i'm doing i ain't gonna lie but anyway i'll come back to you in a bit and we'll discuss what's going on see you later
What's going on? We are still, still here. We've been here an hour now. Um, we're not even being tipped or anything yet. I don't know if this is normal. Don't know if this is the standard or not. But nothing seems to be happening. And I've just given a ticket to a guy, so I'm definitely in the right place. But this is proper boring, this man. Is this what normally happens at this kind of place? I mean, like I said, I've been here an hour. And there's one, two, three, four trucks in front of me. As I can see. There's four trucks in front of me that I can see. And I've just seen two reversing into bears up there. I don't know what they're doing up there. I don't know if they're going to be going in next or what. I've no idea. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've not even been told. Some guy said just stick to the back of this guy. He said, but he's not been here before either. So, yeah. All fun and games. But... I'm kind of excited to show you this, which is why I'm going to show you now. Really excited for this. Y Food have come up with a brand new flavour, and I've been waiting three weeks to try it. And obviously, I'm going to try it live on camera now so you can get my reaction. Salted caramel flavour in the new packaging. I've been waiting three weeks to be able to show you this because I've not been able to say, say anything because it's only just been released. But as with all Y food, it's got 26 vitamins and minerals. It's high in protein, high in fiber, lactose free, gluten free, and there's no added sugar. And we're moving. Well, that just sounded about right. Great stuff. Are, are, we, are we actually going in or what? Am I just following him straight? Am I, am I following him in? Am I going straight in? Going straight in? Yes. Come on, son. Might be getting, might be getting tipped here. Oh, I don't like that. that yellow barrier there. That's a bit nasty. He said stick to the back of him. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. Go on, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Never give up. Wow, that kid's got a throw. You can go some. Oh no, don't stop here. Seriously. Seriously, bro. Yes. Go, 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 go. Get me unloaded and reloaded. Oh, God, I only had about another 10 minutes for a 45 then. Damn it. Keep going. Keep going, son. Keep going. Happy days. You done it? As far in as we're going? Stop in there. Are you? Are you? Yep, they're going everywhere. Oh, go on, sub. Get me unloaded. Go on, lad. Yeah. So, uh, 26 multivitamins and minerals. She going further forward. Okay. What do I do? Reverse onto the bay or? I'll check it for you. Cheers, you I've never been here before, so. Yeah, no, Alright, cheers, mate. I'll tell you. Thanks. It was nice enough, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. 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 Oh, I was shouting in there. He was nice enough, wasn't he? He said he's going to check it for me to see where I'm getting reloaded. So, yeah. Start again, shall we? Salted caramel flavour, 26 multivitamin. multivitamin 26 vitamins and minerals, high in protein, high in fiber, lactose free, gluten free, and no added sugar. So, today my diet's not been the best. I had, I went for a meeting this morning, and I had, I did an hour's cardio, and I did my Instagram story thing, where I asked loads of questions, and, uh, and then I had my porridge and whey, and then I had a turkey sandwich, and then went training. So because of the turkey sandwich, I kind of cheated on my diet, which I don't like doing. So I'm having a Y food instead of turkey and rice, because, well, it's just better. So this is all I'm gonna to have tonight, and it's gonna keep me full, because Y food's mint. But I really wanna try this salty caramel with you. 
and I just can't hold on anymore. So I'm gonna do it now. If you want to purchase any Y food, I'm not gonna lick the lid because I'll just spoil it. You can use my code DD10 for 10% off your order. I think everyone should have a Y food in the bag at all times. They really should. As use it as part of a diet. Have one every day. I do. I still have one every single day. Uh, and I also want to tell you that the hazelnut is back. And it's back as a permanent fixture for Y food. So you can buy these straight off the site now. I'm not going to drink this one now. I have had two of them already. Um, but yeah, hazelnut's back on the menu. So go and crack on with one of them. And also, I found out that lassie, so like the strawberry lassie, mango lassie, means yogurt drink. So it's a little more sour. Anyway, I can't wait for salted caramel. If you do buy one of these, smell it first. Because that smells mega. It smells like salted caramel to be fair. You ready? That is up there with peanut. Peanut's my favourite. That's up there with it. That is really damn good. Mm. I don't have no idea. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, all right. If you, when you empty it, yeah, park up anywhere you can and I'll shout someone to come and get you. I reckon it'll probably be within the next hour or whatever. Do you know how many trailers we have coming into like playing the channel? This is my first time in here, I've not got a clue what I'm doing. Right, not a problem, yeah, so obviously you come out of the building, turn right, turn right, turn right, and you want to be parking over that side of the building, just sit there. Out right there? Yeah, over there, yeah. Right. Yeah, just sit there, and uh, I'm loading one now, so as soon as I've got him off panic, I'll come and get you. Cool. Well, not like I said, shouldn't be more than an hour. We'll All right. 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 I'll come and get you past me right there. Nice one, brother. Cheers, mate. Again, nice bloke. Not disrespectful at all. And he sees hundreds of trucks a day. Not disrespectful at all. Didn't know me or anything. So. Hmm. That is really, really good. Really impressed. They kill it, Y Food. They really do. Mm. I get asked all the time if I do actually use Y Food, and I do. I genuinely do. That's why I've been using them for over 12 months. That's why they sponsor my channel. That is why um, I've not got any other sponsors because I can't endorse anything else. Told you this before. People still message me and say, Do you actually really drink it? Yeah. It's like all them people that have took sponsorship by offering that book, that book thing. None of them use the book, it's brand new. I mean, I can't lie to you and say you need to have this book to pass your test. Because you don't, quite frankly. You just don't need it, do you? And most of their books have never even been opened. You can see that from a mile off the brand spanking you. I use this book to pass my test, don't I? I've been driving for 47 years and I use this book for pass my test. It only got published in 2015, you crackpot. Get away. Anyway, so we're finally being unloaded. He's just said you're going to have to wait an hour for me reloaded. I mean, where am I supposed to go for a pee in here? I'm bursting. Ain't good, is it? Um, oh. I don't think it's going to be that doddle of a six hour shift that I thought it was going to be I think it's going to be a bit of a pain in the bum hole but it is what it is I'll come back to you later get some Y food man get some seriously really good stuff uh, DD10 at checkout 10% off any order and all orders I'll come back to you in a bit I'll speak to you later ciao for now Oh, criminy. Wowzers. <laughs> it's now quarter to 11. We got in there at 8 o'clock. 8, 9, 10, 11. Nearly three hours. Two hours and 45 minutes we've been in there. And do you know, I only just managed to get an half an hour break in as well when I was being reloaded. Because it's all do a little bit, move a little bit, do a little bit, move a little bit. Um, I did want to record in there. I did want to, but I wasn't allowed. So, you only got a little bit of the cab, which was uh, 
when I was doing the wide food thing. Other than that, I weren't allowed to record anything. Um, I wanted to record a little bit of strapping up at the end and then doing the buckles weren't allowed because I was on their property. So, unfortunate it may be, but it is what it is. I'm going to leave the beginning bit in because, well, I didn't ask before that, did I? Uh, I think when I arrived, I think I recorded when I arrived, didn't I? And when I spoke to the security guard. So I'm going to leave that bit in, but after that, it's going to be the wire food advert and then me driving out but we're on the way home we're going to get back at 10 to 1 we started at 5 get back at 10 to 1 he's starting an 8 hour shift 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 1 o'clock's an 8 hour shift then we've got to be unloaded and then once we've been unloaded um, drop the trailer and then refuel and then it's home time happy days Looking forward to getting home. Can't wait. Oh, I don't know. It's been a funny old night for reasons that I can't discuss, unfortunately. There's so much going on behind the scenes at the moment that I don't think anyone really knows about, to be honest. But it is what it is. Well, I'm on a road that doesn't even exist now. So, well, it doesn't even exist, this road, so I don't know what the frigging fr 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 flip of was going on. We'll just go this way, shall we, see, see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's actually loads going on behind the scene at the moment. Um, you actually wouldn't believe, you probably think, yeah, he's just saying that, but there is actually so much going on at the moment. It's absolutely bizarre. Right, this is supposed to be a big whopping great roundabout. It evidently isn't. I evidently need to turn, that is one crazy ass road. What the hell? I need to go down here for M6. I'm currently on the right hand side of the road, which quite possibly be the wrong side of the road. There's a dead rat there. That was nice. Lovely. Am I doing this right or what? What in universal credits names going on here? <laughs> proper lost. Call yourself proper professional, I tell you. Couldn't make it up. First exit M6, right? So let's let's get it left on lane for a start. So at least I know for 100 percent sure that I'm not gonna be hitting any oncoming traffic. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a single road man. Chill, calm down, YouTube chill. Uh nearly there. Let's get lane departure warning off because I'm not gonna depart any lanes. Uh, let's say thank you to him. So, this is my first S cab, by the way. It's an S500. Absolutely stunning bit of kit. I was talking to a lad earlier on, can't remember your name, do apologise, I talk to so many people, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and he said, Volvos are better than Scania's. I was like, oh really? Is that what you think, is it? Let's put the armrest down for the first time tonight. Um. Do you know, I'd, I'm, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say this, the Scania is the best truck I've driven. I'm going to have to say it. I prefer it to the Actros. These, uh, these Scania's are just an absolute delight. They're an absolute bleeding dream. They do everything. They're comfortable. I thought the Actros's were comfortable, but these, I remember. And this is the leather seats as well. And I'm not so keen on leather seats because they make your ass cold for the first 10 minutes, you know what I mean? But the steering wheel, the placement, the movement of the steering wheel, yeah, you can move it so much, you've got so much freedom of movement. You can actually get it in a place where you really want it, whereas in the Actros, it goes all the way to the bottom and all the way towards me, and that's how I sit. With here, there's still room for movement. It's just absolutely perfect. Beautiful, nicest cockpit. I love the greens and the blacks. So, I'm gonna have to say the Scania is the best truck I've driven. I'm gonna have to do it. They're absolutely amazeballs. So there you go. We've got a two hour drive back. Uh, like I say, we'll get back and get unloaded, drop the trailer, refuel it, and then head off home for the weekend. And that's me done. I'm gonna leave the vlog here. It is a short one. I said it was gonna be shorter. I think it might actually be under half an hour. I'm not 100% sure. Um, 
but I've not really done much to be honest and what I have done I can't discuss on camera unfortunately not yet anyway but I'm gonna leave it there for me. for now if you want to follow me on Facebook you can do it Gareth DD Instagram DD2012 if you want to join the membership click join next to the subscribe button it's 4 dollars you're helping me out thanks a lot folks I'll see you in the next video whenever that may be uh, take care peace out see you later ciao